done with the Goodwill. Sorry, not the Goodwill. We're headed to the Goodwill. We just got done with the swim lesson. We're David, we're not gonna be a duck today. I don't feel good. Uh, my stomach kind of hurts. It went well. My only issue, and this is a big issue, baby. There were five students in the class. Two instructors. Hold on, y'all. Five students in the class. My only beef is that there were five students in the class, two instructors. I guess one of the kids, and then these are little kids, three to five. One of the kids got injured, so one of the instructors had to get out. Now, my baby is on the wall with another child who's like four and a half, almost five. Jamie's only three and a half, but right? The other instructor is about six feet, six feet away, and I think JB panicked when he saw that instructor, so he let go of the wall and went on there one time. Now, I got up, and I was mama, mama bear mode, and the other instructor ran to him, but he was fine. I thought he would be scared, but he was fine. Now, if he would have started crying or making a scene, I would have immediately stopped, and we would have went home, but he was fine. I, you know, I was... Being a mother, I was just concerned, but he was okay. And I asked him um, how he was afterwards. He was fine, and he said he wanted to go back. So, um, yeah, very affordable, y'all. If you have a YMCA, look into their swim lessons. It's only $52 for the, for the month. So next year, we will probably do this. They have different levels, and they're all prereqs. So we will probably do this one again next year and just continue on with the two additional levels. Level one, two, and three. He's going to do all three levels next year because uh, it's very important, especially out here in um, Arizona. Hey, you guys. So it is June the 13th. Yeah, it's June the 13th, and I'm trying to get things ready for our trip to Las Vegas. Um, I do things in advance. The, the trip is another four weeks away, but I tend to be a little, how should I say, indecisive. Um, I like, but I like to have everything out and planned to where I don't, I'm not packing at the last minute. So I have everything laid out when I'm going to wear and I'll show you guys in a minute. <clears throat> I did buy a couple of new things because I've been losing weight. Um, and more, most so, more so inches. I'm only 168, which is still some weight on me because I'm only five, three and a quarter pushing five, four. Look, I'm pushing for that five, four for our trip to Las Vegas. This would be t honestly like my 10th time going to Vegas. We're only going for three days because after that, it's like, what am I, I especially for child, I don't want to spend any more time in Las Vegas. Um, my mama, yeah, my mama's so she's just petty and the reason why I say this is because she's gone to Las Vegas several times and this is the second year that my dad's company is flying everyone out from the company company and their families to Las Vegas right so my mom is always like hold on my neighbors is playing music it must be in her bedroom because I've never heard it before is this gospel music child knows country music same thing sometimes right anyway y'all so the reason why my mama is petty is because she does not like to be in Las Vegas by herself with just only my dad and her because he would drive her crazy. I mean, you would think after 34 plus years of marriage, but they, they drive each other crazy. So she just says, oh, you know, my sisters are going to be up there. They, they ain't going to be up there. You invited them. So literally there's going to be like 10 of us, which is a lot, but not really in my family. Um... I come from a very huge traditional southern family child. I'm going to show you guys a couple of things I got. Uh, and I am a bargain shopper when it comes to clothes. I will spend money on shoes and purses and accessories. But I'm not spending more than $20 on any type of I'm not. I'm just not. So let me show you guys what I got. So um, some of this stuff is new. Some of it is old. And we're only there for three days. But what I like to do is have daytime clothes and nighttime clothes. Because look, you guys, if you've never been to Las Vegas before, and here are my shoes down here. If you've never been to Las Vegas before, one thing I will say is that in order to get to your, actually ho to your actual hotel is a bit of a walk. The strip itself, we're talking about miles. And I think that people underestimate exactly how big that strip is. So I can always tell a first time visitor, especially females from what, from what they're, they are wearing. They have on pumps uh, and, you know, or heels and then literally 
I will see that same female, you know, two or three hotels later and she has her shoes off. So you cannot wear heels on the strip. Now these wedges that I have, and I know the coloring is a little off here. These wedges are for when we go to dinner later on that night. We will more than likely go to dinner at a restaurant inside of the hotel. These tennis shoes are for walking the strip. Don't even try to do flip flops. There's no support. You gotta have something a little bit more comfortable. These are, these are very, very comfortable. So anyway, I bought this long maxi dress off of Forever 21. And it's just, you know, the typical traditional maxi dress with the slits on the side. Okay, and I do have this half cover up because I'm not showing my arms, you guys. My arms are horrible. Um, but this is a half of a cover up and a short sleeve. I bought this really cute form fitting short red dress. Um, and this denim to go over it. I have a bunch of cute jewelry to go with this. Some colored slacks and I got this cute shirt from Walmart that says messy hair don't care. Okay, so all of this stuff right here is new. Okay, um, and this is just some, um, the coloring's really getting off now y'all. This is just some tangerine pants and some floral pants. These are actually new, um, meaning within the last month or so. Um, I've had this for a while. So yeah, this is for nighttime wear. If we go somewhere, which we probably will um, later on in the evening. And this is for daytime wear, okay? So yeah, not you guys. It's at least, I'm gonna say one fourth of a mile to get from your vehicle or outside of your uh, hotel to your hotel room. It is that far. It's so funny, my best friend went she went last year and she had all her pumps and I warned her. I said, love, her name is love. I said, love, you need to be careful because you can't be wearing those pumps. And she did it anyway. So um, this is a couple of things that I got for Boo Boo. I got him these cute little shirts styled by mom and these shorts. Isn't this cute? Um, and I got him this grandma rock shirt. So cute. These were literally like $2.99, $3.99 through the children's Put place. on your first time. And if you need help, I'll help you. You about to be 25. <laughs> Baby, you had it on. Why don't you try putting it on one more time? Jesus. Yeah, that Thomas was nasty. So hey, you guys, it's Friday, July 15th. Yeah, it was nasty. We just got out of the Goodwill. Um, I stopped by here. I know the, the lighting is off, sorry. I stopped by here hoping I could find a stroller. I'd already ordered one through Walmart. We went to Walmart early, early, you guys. I go to Walmart really early before the crazies show up. I'm pretty sure some of you do the same thing. And so we need a stroller because there's no way JB's going to be able to walk around in Vegas. So since I sold his stroller last year, I figured I would buy another one. Went to Walmart, found one that he could fit in, searched for 10, 15 minutes for an associate to help me, and at that point I was like, to hell with this. I'm going to go home, order the stroller through the psych the store, and not, not mess with none of y'all. So I'm going to go back. They said it's ready. I'm just going to go to customer service. It's already paid for. Pick it up and be on about my way. All right, y'all. So we are back from Walmart, and they had summer clothes. Boo-boo. They had summer clothes on clearance because they're getting ready to put out the fall stuff, which I don't know why, because summer stays pretty warm for a while. And this is what he wants to show y'all. He got this fire, we stopped by Goodwill, and he got this fire. Yes. Three pairs of shirts and three shorts for $15, because look what this price is. Can y'all see that? Let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, it's upside down, but it's $2. They were $2 each. That's right, baby. So I got him in the size up. These are 5T, which means he'll be in these by January, child. So yeah, that was a good deal. But let me turn this camera around and let you guys know what happened when I went to go get the stroller. This is why I don't like to deal with Walmart. So I go to customer service, not customer service. Yeah, it's a customer service over there by the um, the bathrooms where you have to pick up your site to store stuff. So I go back up there to pick up the stroller. And the young woman comes out and she's like, oh, we didn't have the stroller that you ordered, but we got you a better one. And it's actually a, a better version. And um, it was even $20 more. And I'm looking at her like, that doesn't mean anything. Just because it's more money doesn't mean it's better quality. Yeah, whatever, y'all. I am tired. It is 2.30. We have literally been out running around off and on since 9 a.m. and so we are done. I picked up Chipotle. I'm not cooking today because I'm cooking tomorrow. 
um we have he has swim lessons like i said tomorrow i'm not going to take that because you guys already saw that earlier and then we're going to check and cheese and sundays i tell y'all we stay busy or oh, this child will drive me crazy so we get out there hey you guys it is july 16th and saturday we just came back from swim lessons jb is very tired i don't know why he's so tired i think it's because we were out all day with that damn stroller the stroller was, is good it's gonna work by the way um so yeah i'm a little tired i slept good though so let me show you guys something i'm gonna be making a little romantic dessert later on i am a baker first of all i cook yes i love to cook but i also love to bake so i'm going to show you guys this layered um dessert that you can make either romantic or just for your family for cookouts for work if you like your co-workers yeah I, I, i'm serious i'm gonna have to contact my apartment com com complex about planting some switch trees around here i need a switch because of this <laughs> so you guys this is a layered cheesecake <laughs> strawberry trifle this could be a romantic dessert it could be a dessert for your family for your co-workers if you like your co-workers like i said um so anyway i'm starting off with yellow cake mix you can use any type of flavor chocolate red velvet i'm using yellow strawberries chopped up strawberries we have some whipped cream i'm using heavy cream a little bit of powdered sugar in that and then of course we have the cream cheese mixture this is half a um uh, what do you call it half of a cheesecake excuse me half of cream cheese I don't need all of it because this is just for um, two people and I use some of the whipped cream in here a squirt of lemon and some vanilla so what I'm going to do to make this sexer I'm going to lay layer it into this wine glass we're gonna do cake um the mixture of cream cheese strawberry and so forth and then i'm going to top it with the powdered sugar i'm sorry top it with the um whipped cream so like i said you could layer this in a regular um bowl you could, it could be a clear bowl to make it pretty you can add berries different type of berries raspberries blueberries does anyone want a three-year-old I'm just saying so yes if I am awake I'm gonna be awake but if I remember I will film what the end result will look like okay you guys hey you guys so instead of using wine glasses I ended up using these footed dessert bowls that I actually got from the Goodwill um yeah I wanted to use dessert bowls because I'm rooting as hell <laughs> so that is it everyone thank you so much for watching